YouTube, this is your boy Carnell, the Tech Savvy Rider. Hey, I'm getting ready to go over another issue that I came across that I wasn't expecting it for for me to find find out what the issue was, but I want to share it with you with you since I did. I'm having I've been having issues uh, with my trailer lights. Uh, the bike is on, service lights on on the bike, brake lights, whole nine yards. But the trailer lights would not come on at all. They were fine, they, they would be on, but until I do something like get a pair of gloves out my trunk of the uh, bike, and I let the trunk lid back down, then my lights on my trailer would go out. And I could not figure it out for the life of me. And I had been dealing with it for about three months. I opened the trunk up, close it, open the trunk up close it and the lights will come back on so at one point I thought it might have been some wiring that I did but after replacing my air foil I finally came across the issue so I'm gonna share it with you all week uh, real quick I'm gonna turn the bike on as you can see the lights will come on the lights brake lights on the trailer as you can see the service lights on in the front uh the brake lights are on hold on let me turn that down before i get a copyright issue all right as you can see the brake lights are on on the bike but the trailer lights are out completely and it would normally happen because I would let up the tr lid on the trunk and my brake lights or my lights on my trailer would go out totally until I closed the trunk now like I said after I replaced the the air foil uh, I came across the issue and this is the issue here up on the, the lid by the hinges where you close the lid, there's a wiring harness that goes up under the hinges where it, it don't go right actually up under it, but it is pretty close to it. And the lights would be on until I open up the trunk and then this uh, harness here, which is on this side, had a wiring that was on the inside of it that when I open the trunk, it separated the wire from each other. And then when I close the trunk, the wires would come back together and my brake lights would come on. <laughs> uh, so here's the example here. I found the wiring harness, I saw the light, I saw the, uh, the wiring that was cut and it is the brown wire uh, in, the, uh, in the wiring harness. So if you go ahead, and connect it I'm gonna show it to you right quick if you can see it I'm gonna go ahead and connect it and as you can see my lights from my trailer comes back on including the brake lights so if you came across this issue where your trailer lights are not coming on you done changed out your bulbs you done went through your wiring harness and nothing is working then come up here and check the wiring harness that's up under the under your lid cover by the hinges. Nine times out of ten, the hinges then cut into the wiring harness. And if the brown wire is cut, that is the brake lights that's coming to the back for the trailer. The lights will not come on. So I just wanted to share that with you right quick and let you know. Uh, hey, simple fix, but you got to find it. And that was the issue. I couldn't find it until after I got my air foil 
on and I started messing around with the lid and then it dawned on me there's a wiring harness going up, up under the hinge here so I opened it up pulled the tape out and sure enough two of the wires were cut the brown wire is for the trailer brake lights so just sharing that with you all if I come across any more issues I share them with you other than that hey y'all have a good one that's my spiel for now GoPro, stop recording. What's going on, YouTube? This is your boy, Carnell, the Tech Savvy Rider. Hey, this afternoon, what I'm going to do, be doing is going over uh, how to repair your flexible LED strips. Now, no matter what type of LED strips you have, the flexible, time, the flexible kind, no matter which one you have or what brand you have, they all come in two different ways. One, without the protective strip, without the protective strip, or two, they come with a protective coating strip on top of the LEDs. All right, the reason I'm bringing this up is because no matter which one you have, no protection or protection, when you turn them into an external light on your on your bike, you'll want to protect them. So this is a good method for the protective ones that are, does not come with a cover, protective cover. Or if you have the ones that are protected, as you can see on mine, the protection cover, at some point, it starts to come loose. If you can see this, it's... If you can see this, I'm pointing up at it. The protection started coming off. It started peeling off. So what I'm gonna do is show you how I repair my L, my flexible LEDs or repairing them. And this is how I repair mine. All right, one, you're gonna need some tape. It don't matter what type of tape it is. You're just gonna need some tape. All right, you're gonna need some type of pill, flat, a small one, a small one, and a large one. What you're gonna do, you're gonna have to be able to peel these LEDs off the back off your bike because they're stuck on with adhesive. All right, you're gonna need some 3M, so this is Scotch 3M repair tape. All right, it's made, this is some of the I have never seen any tape that's, that's better than this so far. I have not come across any tape that's better than this uh, Scotch 3M repair tape here. And this is what I'll be used to recover the LEDs to give them that waterproof uh, uh, protection that I need for them to have. So just in case I get caught, you know, in the weather. You're going to need a pair of scissors and you're going to need a bottle of gasoline all right I'm telling you gasoline for the adhesive it's a lot better because it dries fast it eat up the adhesive and it dries fast all right you're gonna need a 100% silicone and I highly recommend using black if you use the clear color it's gonna eventually turn yellow on you on you and it's gonna look nasty where black is gonna stay black no matter what if it wears out it's still black and of course you need the gun it, it goes in all right what I want to make sure that you understand is when it's time for you to remove remove your LEDs stay away from stuff that that says you know uh, adhesive goo and adhesive remover uh, this stuff is good for removing the adhesive that's on the back of these uh, LEDs. Uh, but as you wipe away, trying to wipe away the adhesive, it's also going to take the paint with it. The paint or the chrome or whatever those uh, that adhesive is stuck to. It sticks around way too long. It dries. It, it takes too long to dry even though you wiped it down. It's still on there. That's why I stay away from stuff that says uh, 
goo and adhesive remover. I just give me a, a small spray bottle of gas, uh, a spray bottle and put some gasoline in it. And this is what I use. It's fast drying and it eats up that adhesive uh, at a slow rate that's giving me time to be able to let those uh, LEDs dry so I can remove them. So the first thing we're gonna do is get started. Next thing you're gonna need is a towel. You see, especially if, since you're spraying gasoline, if you can't see this, I'm using a towel. Uh, let's see, I'm hoping you can see that. But there's a towel in my fin that's covering up my radiator back there. Uh, Cause I don't wanna be spraying gasoline all up in my engine area. Uh, all on my uh, air filters back there. So here we go. Just simply spray the LEDs with some gasoline. All right, take your small, uh, I'm, I'm gonna call it a spatula, well, not a spatula, but a, snot, uh, a razor blade and kind of just slide it up under the LEDs. All you're trying to do is create an opening so that gas can get behind there and start eating up this adhesive. Okay. Let's go make one in the middle, make one at the end. Make one at the end, make one in the middle, make one at the end, make one in the middle, make one in the in the end, the middle, and the end. Okay, as you can see, it start coming out. Spray it again. Wait five minutes or so. I right, want to give that gas some time to eat it up, and then we're gonna wait five minutes and then come back to it. So y'all just hold off and let me get back to it. Okay, we're gonna say go ahead and say five minutes is up. Now I'm gonna take the large razor, spatula, whatever you want to call them, and we're gonna start prying up under the LEDs and the bike to open up this uh, adhesive to break it away from the bike. As you can see, it's very easy. It's coming up very easy. And there's no damage to my paint whatsoever. All right. Now, got it out. Now, if you, if you couldn't see what I was talking about earlier, this is what I was talking about. You see the protective cover here that was on the LEDs? Now it's coming off. My LEDs are exposed to the weather now. So I have to repair this. And this is how I repair it. Okay, now after you uh, peel off your, your LEDs, if you have any adhesive that's left behind, make sure you spray it down with a little gasoline and use you a plastic, a plastic pudding knife. Yeah, that's the, that's the name of the tool I'm looking for, I was trying to think of. Use your plastic pudding knife and take the, take the rest of this adhesive off. Like I said, this gasoline eats this stuff up and it doesn't actually affect your paint because it dries real fast and whatever's left behind, you can use a towel to wipe it off. All right, so we're done with getting all the adhesive off the bike. Uh, I'm only gonna do one piece because I gotta clean up the rest of it, but I'm gonna show you how I, I usually uh, repair these LEDs. Now, as you can see, each one of these LEDs, let me turn my camera down just a little bit so you can see it. The, the original, protection on each one of these LEDs is now useless. They are no more good. So I might as well just go ahead and cut them out or tear them off or whatever it's gonna take uh, because I need to make my own anyway and these are no longer any good. So let me go and just get them out the way and cut them off. So we do that for all of them. And then I'll show you how I make my protection for my LEDs, my flex LEDs. And that way you can go ahead and continue on and do it yourself if you decide to do so. 
Because I can tell you now, if you don't, and these jokers get wet, no matter which type of brand of LEDs, flex LEDs that you use, they will not last in that weather. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and use this middle piece here. All right, now that I got all the adhesive off the back of it, it's clean, it's dry from the gasoline, so it's good to go. The gasoline, don't be too concerned about it. As long as there's no current going to the LEDs, you don't have to worry about the gasoline. Once it dries, it is good to go. Now, what you need to do now is turn, once you clean up all the adhesive off these LEDs, turn them over to the back. Let me get this little stuff out of the way. Turn them over to the back, cause you're getting ready to tape them up with the Scotch 3M uh, repair tape. There's a little bit left on this one. Let me take that off. Okay, all the old stuff is gone now. Turn them over to the back. Take your 3M, your Scotch 3M flexible tape. And start at one corner. Take the back. Cut the length of the flex tape or the repair tape. Now you need to wrap the flex tape from the back from this. Do not do it from the top to the back. Do it from the back. I mean, not do it from the back to the front because it's coming back to the back. Do not start in the front because you're going to end up with an open layer in the front. So do it exactly as this. Cover the back. Flex the tape around to cover the front now your front is covered now take the remaining of the tape and take it all the way back around back to the back so the opening of your tape will be in the back not the front now I have a brand new cover protection on my LED now, instead, it's time for me to put them on. I'm going to clean this up a little bit, and I'll come back and show you how I actually put them back on. I do. Okay, now I got all three of the LEDs. I got them all cleaned up. I got the tape repair on over them to cover up for the protection. That's the new protection. And I got all the surfaces clean so I can put the, the, the LEDs back down uh, on the surface. Now, at this point, what I do is I flip them over to the back, grab the silicone gun, lace it with one the string of line of silicone straight down the middle. Okay, once I do that, turn them over, place it to where I want them to be laying for the display, which would be right here. Okay, lay it down gently. Yeah, you're gonna have some uh, silicone juicing out the side that's okay you can simply just wipe it down while you set it down get it out the way okay once you clean it up a little bit the way you want it keep in mind once it dry you still have some silicone down on the side right around the sides you can always go back and use some gasoline to wipe it down and to get it off. Now at this point, this is when I take the tape. You can use any tape, masking tape, invisible tape, whatever, whatever you got. And just simply, uh, simply place it over on the top of the LEDs to hold it in place until the silicone dries. Okay, once it's good to go, go to the next one. Now, what I'm gonna do at this point now, I'm gonna go ahead and do my other two since I already since I'm, I already started on it. So give me a minute. Let me do my other two and get them set in.
Let me get my towel out of the way now. Lay them down to where I want to lay them down at. Hold them in place. Grab me a piece of tape. And I'll do my last, my last one. Lace it with some silicone. Place it where I want to place it. Stick it up against the bike. Grab me a piece of tape so I can hold it in place. And voila, I'm done. Now, this whole process, for you, it's probably been a couple minutes. But all actuality, it's been an hour since I last used the gasoline uh, on these lights. So they should be good to go and dry. When the tape, when the silicone dries, all I got to do is come back and remove the tape. Uh, excuse me. As you can see, uh, this is what I have been doing the whole time. Once the silicone dries, then you simply come back and remove your tape. And your LEDs will be in place like you wanted them to be because they dried the silicone dried. Okay, I'll remove the rest of it later on. But now all I want to do, since it's been an hour before it get too bad, I mean too dry and I can't remove them, I have to use gasoline again to take them off. I just want to verify that these LEDs are working. That I didn't mess them up when I took them off. So, let me check. Get off my battery tender. Now, check my LEDs. And my lights. The LEDs are on, they are working, and they are protected. And they're getting dry, so when they, the silicone dries, this side of the LEDs will be done getting late so I'm gonna do the, the other side tomorrow other than that I just wanted to share this with you all to show y'all how I repair my LEDs when the protection for the weather protection strip start coming off or peeling off this is how I uh, protect mine uh, and I highly advise if you buy LEDs with protection cover on them still go through this process and it will protect them even more from the beginning and instead of waiting until it actually corrode and you have to take them off so protect them from the beginning you should be good to go they'll last a little bit longer the original protection i had that was on these they last for about seven months and then uh after that each one of my lights i have to go through and start repairing them uh and it's a time processing thing because i got a lot of lights on here but this is how I actually remove the LEDs, cover them up, protect them, re-protect them. Uh, 
silicone them back on, tape them down, and let them dry. And I, I took you through the whole process of this right fern here. So, hey, that's my spiel for today. Y'all have a good one. See you next time on the next, uh, my next repair. That's my spiel for today. Y'all have a good one. GoPro, stop recording. Hey, hey.